Hi busy bees! Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for joining me for another read aloud. Today I have a fun book to share with you. This is an all about book, but it's a rhyming book full of fun illustrations based on the show The Cat in the Hat. So it's called Miles and Miles of Reptiles and it will teach us lots of real facts about reptiles like turtles snakes and lizards and crocodiles. So you might already know some information about these animals, but I bet you, you that you will learn something new. So be thinking, what was something you already knew about reptiles and then what is something new that you can learn? And we'll talk about it at the end. So miles and miles of reptiles. I'm the cat in the hat in my crocodile car. We're off to find reptiles wherever they are. We'll find lizards and turtles, then travel for miles to see snakes, alligators, and real crocodiles. There are thousands of reptiles. I'll show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. He always says that. Reptiles breathe air. Most lay eggs on land. Some slither, some swim, some run in hot sand. Some reptiles have teeth, some reptiles have tails. All reptiles have skin that is covered in scales. So all reptiles breathe air, lay eggs, and have scales. That's what they all have in common. First, let's meet some lizards. Count them and you'll find more lizards than all other reptiles combined. Lizards have eyelids that open and close. Most lizards you'll see on each foot have five toes. When lizards are hungry, some things that they eat are plants, insects, snails, and other types of meat. So they are omnivores. <clears throat> there are all kinds of lizards. Would you ever think that there is a lizard that's known as a skink? This is a glass lizard. It looks like a snake, but call it a snake and you make a mistake. The world's biggest lizard is here on our wagon. It can grow 10 feet long. It's a Komodo dragon. Reptiles are cold-blooded, but I have been told this does not mean that reptiles have blood that is cold. It means that their temperature changes a lot. They get cold when it's cold, they get hot when it's hot. So that's what cold-blooded means. They are cold when it's cold out and hot when it's hot out. How do lizards get warm? Why, thank you for asking. They lie in the sun, and that is called basking. They like to bask in the sun. Meet my friend the chameleon. He's hiding right here. He changes his color when danger is near. When he's scared, he turns dark and he stays out of sight, but his colors turn bright when he's ready to fight. A chameleon's tail has a powerful grip. It holds on to things so that it won't slip. One eye can look one way while one looks the other. One eye looks at me while one looks at my brother. Thing one and thing two. On the Galapagos Islands, we'll see something new. Iguanas. They're lizards. Here's what they do. They swim in the waves, and when they are done, they crawl on the rocks and get warm in the sun. They have glands that strain salt from salt water, and then they sneeze the salt out from their noses again. Well, that's interesting, I never knew that. These lizards are geckos. Aren't they pretty? They live in the desert, rainforest, and city. They have pads on their feet that are perfect for gripping. They can climb up a wall, even glass, without slipping. Why are they named gecko? Thing one and I know, some chirp and some squeak, and it sounds like gecko. So the sound they make sounds like their name. Come eat some snakes. When they move on the ground, the scales on their skin help them slither around. A snake's jaw is loosely attached on each side. This means it can open its mouth very wide, like that boa constrictor. A snake smells with its tongue. He is showing us how. See it flick in and out? He is smelling right now. How do snakes avoid danger so they can survive? Here are some things that help snakes stay alive. 
Snakes may have stripes, uh, spots, or rings on their skin. They can hide in plain sight. Their skin helps them blend in. Very good camouflage. Some, like a vine snake, can fool you and me. It looks like a vine hanging down from a tree. If you hear a rattlesnake's tail start to rattle, it means I might bite you, so you'd better skedaddle. A cobra is a snake that's not very polite, and that is because of its poisonous bite. When it's angry, a cobra spreads out its big hood. If you see it, you'll know things are not looking good. Fangs hang from its jaw and punch holes in the skin, then a poison called venom begins to flow in. Yikes. I would not want to see a cobra. Now meet the turtles. Each one has a shell. This hard shell protects it and does it quite well. Turtles heat up in a nice sunny spot, then slide into the water when they get too hot. Turtles are toothless, so they cannot chew. They swallow food whole. That's all they can do. So they have no teeth. They just use their jaws. Here is a tortoise. I happen to know. This rap reptile eats grass and it moves very slow. It looks like a turtle, but I understand. A turtle lives in the water, a tortoise on land. So a turtle lives in the water and a tortoise is a turtle that lives on land. About the tortoise, I discovered one thing. Each year of its life, its shell grows a new ring. So each year, it gets another ring around its shell so you can tell how old it is. Turtles have four legs, but sea turtles like these have flippers to swim through the water with ease. They lay eggs on land, and each mom somehow knows which beach she was hatched on, so that's where she goes. When the babies are hatched, the shells on their backs are so soft, they are helpless if something attacks. We measure these babies, they're so very small. Their shells are just three inches long, and that's all. They're tiny. On the Florida coast, in a swamp or lagoon, you may see a crocodile swimming by soon. Crocodiles have sharp teeth and they walk on four legs. Their feet have sharp claws, their young hatch from eggs. There are crocs that can eat till they're filled up. And then, it could be months, even years, before they eat again. I didn't know they can go years without eating, that's crazy. Alligators and crocodiles look alike as you see. That's because they belong to the same family. We looked at them closely and here's what we saw. The gator's teeth hang over its lower jaw. So here's the gator's teeth hang down. Then here's the croc. They both live near water and these reptiles glide by swinging their powerful tail side to side. If you look at their heads like we did side by side, a croc's head is thin and a gator's is wide. So that's another way you can tell the difference. They have a skinny head if they're a crocodile and a wide head if they're an alligator. They mate in the water. Then we understand the female comes out to lay eggs up on land. She digs a deep nest, then she lays her eggs in it, laying 60 or so, about one every minute. 60 eggs. So all reptile, reptiles lay eggs. When the babies are hatched, this is how small they are. Each one weighs as much as thing one's candy bar. That's tiny. Reptiles are everywhere. Just look, you might see one down on the ground or up high in a tree. They come in all shapes and all colors and sizes, and you will discover they're full of <gasps> surprises. And that's the end. So we have at the very last page a glossary. It tells some of the tricky words in the book like avoid, bangs, flippers, glands, lagoon. So if you didn't know what those words meant, you could look in the glossary. So I hope you enjoyed that book. I had fun reading it to you. And I want you to think about what was something in the book that you already knew about reptiles? And then what's something new to you? Something you didn't know before? Hopefully you learned something new. It's fun to learn about animals. All right. 
I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Love you.